and reading from the book of 1 kings chapter 20 king ben hadad of syria gathered all his troops and supported by 32 other rulers with their horses and chariots he marched up laid siege to samaria and launched attacks against it he sent messengers into the city to king ahab of israel to say king ben hadad demands that you surrender to him all your silver and gold your women and the strongest of your children tell my lord king ben hadad that i agree he can have me and everything i own i have answered later the messengers came back to have with another demand from ben hadad i sent you word that you were to hand over to me your silver and gold your women and your children now or however i will send my officers to search your palace and the homes of your officials and to take everything they consider valuable they will be there they will be there about this time tomorrow king ahab called in all the leaders of the country and said you see that this man wants to ruin us he sent me a message demanding my wives and the children my silver and gold and i agreed the leaders and the people answered don't pay any attention to him don't give in so i have replied to ben hadad messenger tell my lord the king that i agreed to his first demand but i cannot agree to the second the messengers left and then returned with another message from ben hadad i will i will bring enough men to destroy the city of yours and carry off the rubble in their hands may the gods strike me and dead if i don't king ahab answered tell king ben hadad that a real soldier does that does, does his boasting after a battle not before it ben hadad received ahab's answer and he and his allies the other rulers were drinking in their tents he ordered his men to get ready to attack the city so they moved into position meanwhile a prophet went to king ahab and said the lord says don't be afraid of that huge army i will give you a victory over it today and you will know that i am the lord who will lead an attack i have uh, asked the prophet answered the lord says that the youngest soldiers under the command of the district governors are to do it who will command the main force the king asked you the prophet answered so the king called out the young soldiers who were under the district commanders 232 in all then he called out the israeli israelite army a total of 7000 men the attack began at noon as ben hadad and his 32 allies were getting drunk in their tents the young soldier advanced first scouts sent out by ben hadad reported to him that a group of soldiers was coming out of samaria he ordered take them alive no matter whether they are coming to fight or to ask for peace the young soldier led the attack followed by the israelite army and each one killed the man he fought the syrians fled with the israelites in hot pursuit just ben hadad escaped on horseback accompanied by some of the cavalry king ahab took the field captured the horses and the chariots and inflicted a severe defeat on syrians then the prophet went to the king ahab and said go back and build up your forces and make careful plans because the king of syria will attack again next spring king ben hadad official said to him the god of israel are mountain gods and that is why the israelites defeated us but we will certainly defeat them if we fight them in the plains now remove the 32 ruler rulers from their commands and replace them with field commanders then call up an army as large as one that deserted you with the same number of horses and chariots we will fight the israelites in the plains and this time we will defeat them king ben hadad agreed and followed their advice the following sp- the following spring he called up in uh, called up his men and marched with them to the city of afek to attack the israelites the israelites were called up and equipped they marched out and camped 
in two groups facing the Syrians. The Israelites looked like two small flocks of goats compared with the Syrians who spread out over the countryside. A prophet went to King Ahab and said, This is what the Lord says, Because the Syrians say that I am a god of the hills and not of the plains, I will give you victory. The huge army and you and your people will know that I am the Lord. For seven days the Syrians and the Israelites stayed in their camps facing each other. On the seventh day they started fighting and the Israelites killed a hundred thousand Syrians. The survivors fled into the city of Afek where the city for where city walls fell on twenty seven thousand of them. Ben Hadad also escaped into the city and took refuge in the back room of a house. His officials went to him and said, We have heard that the Israelite kings are merciful. Give us permission to go to the king of Israel with sackcloth round our waist and ropes round your neck. And maybe he will spare your life. So they wrapped sackcloth round their waist and ropes around their neck, went to Ahab and said, Your servant Ben Hadad pleads with you for his life. Ahab answered, Is he still alive? Good, he is like a brother to me. Ben Hadad's officials were watching for a good sign, and when Ahab said, Brother, they took it up once and said, As you say, Ben Hadad is your brother, bring him to me. Ahab ordered. When Ben Hadad arrived, Ahab invited him to get in the chariot with him. Ben Hadad said to him, I will restore to you the towns my father took from your father, and you may set up commercial centers for yourselves in Damascus, just as my fathers did it in Samaria. Ahab replied, On these terms, then, I will set up you free. He made a treaty with him and let him go. At the Lord's command, a member of a group of prophets ordered a fellow prophet to hit him. But he refused, so he said to, them, said to him, Because you have disobeyed the Lord's command, a lion will kill you as soon as you leave me. And as soon as he left, a lion came along and killed him. Then his, then this name prophet went to an other man and said, Hit me. This man did, did so, so he hit him a, lord, a hard blow and hurt him. The prophet bandaged his face with a cloth to disguise himself and went and stood by the road, waiting for the king of Israel to pass. As the king was passing by, the prophet called out to him and said, Your Majesty, I was fighting in the battle when a soldier brought a captured enemy to me and said, Guard this man, if he escapes, you will pay for it with your life or else pay a fine of 3,000 pieces of silver. But I got busy with other things and the man escaped. The king answered, You have pronounced your own sentence and you will have to pay the penalty. The prophet tore the cloth from his face and at once the king recognized him as one of the prophets. The prophet then said to the king, This is the word of the Lord because you allowed the man to escape whom I had ordered to be killed. You will pay for it with your life and your army will be destroyed for letting his army escape. The king went back home to Samaria, worried and depressed. Oh, Edam,